Donald Trump has been promising to start up his rallies again. But until he does, his supporters will have to settle for the next best thing, the MyPillow guy. Yes, MyPillow founder and Trump supporter Mike Lindell put together something he called the MAGA Frank Rally. So I traveled to New Richmond, Wisconsin to see why thousands of people gathered in a field to see a bunch of right-wing all-stars, the ex-president on a jumbotron, and obviously buy some pillow swag. That's an amazing lineup. Who's, who's your favorite with the lineup? Um, probably you Mike Lindell. Well, we're just excited to see Mike. He speaks the same truth that we believe. Mike is is a true hero. You know, they 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 claim, you know, the doctors and nurses are that. But I, my own sister's a retired RN, and we're not talking right now because of her beliefs. So when it comes to heroes, there's doctors, there's nurses, and then there's the pillow guy. Yeah, yeah. What have you learned from Mike Lindell? He's a true blue, blooded, red, working American man. Which which co which color? Blue, blue and true. He's a blue and true. Red-blooded red -blooded white man that he's, you know... Got them all in there. Yeah. Mike Lindell has garnered plenty of attention by focusing on one thing. When this election, when all this fraud is opened up that I already know exists... And sure, his claims of dead people voting in Georgia and vote flipping in Michigan have been debunked by various news outlets. Still, these people were eager for more pillow talk. What is Mike Lindell talking about that you agree with? Well, just the whole fraud of the election. He's got the proof, you know. The proof is there. What makes you know that Trump won? His own Department of Justice says there was no fraud. Just, well. So you don't trust the Department of Justice? Oh, no. You trust my pillow guy? Well, I wouldn't go quite that far to say, you, you know, I trust what he's saying. You Do you trust what he's saying? Yeah. Oh, so you would? Yeah. You would go that far? Yeah. That's exactly where you went. Yeah, yeah. I think that we still need to find out what's going on. We still need to look back at what happened. Haven't we already done that? Well, there's there's history sometimes. We have to go back in history, like we do in school. It's important to look at historical Absolutely. moments from different perspectives so you have an understanding and yeah. a whole picture. Right, we have to. So you support critical race theory? No. And Lindell's newest election claim is his juiciest. President Trump coming back in 2024. I'm still sticking to August of this year, everybody. That's my opinion. And why do they think of that? That would be nice, wouldn't it? It would be nice, but, you know, I don't like to get my hope I up. Think, I think <laughs> the country's going to going to pot right now. Not the country Come I on. grew up in. What What country did you grow up in? The land of the free. This United States of because America of the in the 60s. <laughs> Things were better in the 60s. Oh, yeah, 70s, 60s, 70s. Yeah, in the 60s, we knew which drinking fountain to drink from. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> if Trump is reinstated in 2021, do you think the Democrats will accept it and allow our nation to heal? I think there's going to be a lot of whining still. Yeah, they're just not going to let it go. They're going to be whining in a field months oh, yeah. after everything's already decided. Anyway, are you excited about being out here in a field to watch Trump on a jumbotron? Is, is he going to be on the jump, jumbotron? Oh, we don't even know. Who knows? <laughs> I'll tell you who might know, the man who paid for a military plane flyover. Are they, when are they? A surprise in the sky here in, a, in about uh, a minute, 30 seconds. It's going to happen any minute. Are they coming? Can they see him? What's up? We're going to see him. Or right here. All right, all right, we're going to start right now with Brandon Leedus and God bless America. So the planes might not be here yet, but according to Lindell, thanks to so-called white hat hackers, he already received the evidence that would lead to Trump's imminent reinstatement. I told the whole country a month and a half ago that I, Donald Trump will be back in in August. You, know? you still believe that? Yeah, absolutely. This is the crime of the century you're describing, and they came to the My Pillow guy. No, they didn't come to me. They came to me on January 9th, but I seen the evidence. But but they still they, they still came to you. Because let me tell you, nobody came to me until that day. And here's what happened. I had my own investigations, I had all of my stuff going on, and nobody talked about the machines. We talked about dead people, non-residents, all the other stuff. I call it the organic fraud. Sure. Is this helping, Mike? What? This yes. is this here is Jenny, all this. This up. is a I, I already have the evidence. You know what this is doing? 
Do you guys get it? It's perpetuating no, no, anger, is, no, fear, and, and attacking no, our no, democracy. You, know what? you are by saying that. Let me tell you something. This is a free speech rally, mm -hmm. okay? My platform, Frank Speech, for all the individuals, whether they're Democrat or Republican, right now, if you talk about machines, vaccine, the border, Jesus, you speak out for anything, and YouTube and Vimeo and people like you guys, the journalists, suppress it, cancel us, or try and destroy something good that's coming out of this. This is a free speech rally. This isn't a Trump rally. Did you call it? Are you trying to say this is a Trump rally? It says my, MAGA is in the title. And he's speaking at it. No, he, you know, you know what? He's speaking. I mean, his, you he got his what, picture on the his, poster, Mike. Yeah, he got suppressed. Unproven election fraud claims have caused real problems in our country. And just last week, we learned that election officials were receiving death threats from angry Trump voters. Have you heard about the death threats? I mean, and Secretary of State Georgia. I mean, I mean. I, I'm saying there are people because of the conversations that are happening, the the elongation of this process, who are now being threatened. He, are you talking about Brad Rassenberger? Yes. Brad Rassenberger and Brian Kemp were in on this. Are you kidding? They're as compromised as they come. Hey, why are these Republicans compromised? I don't know. Ask you, them. I'm Ask asking Brian you Kemp because you, you apparently are the one that... No, you need to understand. That's a deviation. Why wouldn't you guys, when I was kicked out... Do you either I want had... to be the guy everybody comes to or not the guy everybody comes to? Because you have answers for being the guy why, that the cyberpunks they, come to, but you have no other answers. I don't know. If August doesn't happen, then, what do you then, say to these then people? Then the states are going to all pull it down because they're doing audits in every state. Pennsylvania is going on, so they're going to Wisconsin, Maricopa will get done. Everywhere they've done an audit, like in New Hampshire, they, every place that we've done audits that we've done, the machines, it's the same thing, everyone. So there's a plan. It's like watching that Bigfoot show. They don't find Bigfoot at the end, but if you tune in next week, maybe it's going to happen. Thank you. You guys are horrible. Oh. Oh. I wanted to talk about his pillows. <laughs>